Hello, good day. Uh, my name is Isaac Oromovia from Nat Point Academy. And then today I'll be treating the second part of the IELTS uh, True First Not Given. Yes, if you've previously watched the first part where I, I laid down the principle of how to decipher between not giving and giving. Giving is not in IELTS, but you need to be able to understand context before now picking true or false. So today I'll be, so if you have not checked that video, check that first, then you check this. Today I'll be transiting into true first not giving uh, part two. So today I'll be focusing more on um, how to pick true and false. In the last video, or the video before this, I have indicated how to pick not given, yes, and then given, if it is given, then you will need to go a step further to decide if it is true or false. Okay, so in the other, uh, in the first one, uh, this was what I emphasized. These two, I said, never get to the point of deciding between false and not giving. It's a recipe for 50 50 uh, percent chance of getting it right or wrong. Okay. I said the first thing you need to do is to decide if a question is given or not given. I laid down the principle yesterday um, in previous posts and I'm going to do a practice as a refresher. Okay, given means the context of the question and passage is the same. What do I mean by that? Question and passage are evaluating the same thing. Focus on context and not the content. Content can be confusing. I gave a typical example yesterday uh, in the last lecture. Are they uh, qualified for the Olympics because of his talent qualities? Are they won medals at the Olympics because of his talent qualities? They have the same content, but they were not evaluating the same thing. One was evaluating what made Ade win gold or uh, win medal at the Olympic? One was evaluating what made Ade qualify. So they were not evaluating the same thing. So it is not given, if you find that out of question, it is littered with almost the same content, but context was not the same. Okay, so we will go into the practice today. I've highlighted them. This is the question. I've highlighted where they are in the passage. You know, if you have reading difficulty, there is a video I've also done about how to read properly in IELTS. You need to check out on the video on the YouTube channel as well. Okay, so here now you can see the question is you should not arrive more than half an hour before your allocated start time. Okay, this one was trying to tell them give you a guideline on when to arrive. Please arrive no earlier than 30 minutes before the time, that's time. It's also trying to give uh, instruction or information on when to arrive. Okay, so they are measuring the same thing. So in this case now, it is given. Later on, we'll have to evaluate if it is true or if it is false. When it is given, you will narrow down to true or false. Okay, this one, your rider identity card will be sent to you. Okay, I did not see it here, rider's identity card, when it will be sent. It was not mentioned here, though I will pick it as not given, but subsequently, if there's any indication to that being answered, I will return to it. Now, let's go to this one. 
some roads may have no more traffic flow. Okay, although many roads are close to oncoming traffic, this is not always the case and you should be aware. Okay, it's trying to tell us that uh, some roads might have traffic flow. This one was saying some roads, many will be closed, but also gave an int here. Let me mark this red. So it was measuring the same thing at this point uh, where we have just the green. This is not always the case. This is not always the case. So indirectly, they are measuring the same thing that some routes might have traffic flow. Yes. So this one is given. Given. So uh, elements are compulsory for all participants. Pants is giving instruction about wearing helmet. Yes, this topic is wear helmet, but we would like to see every slide cyclist on the right wearing helmet. It's also giving information about yes, so they are evaluating the same thing. So this is given. Okay, the next one, refreshments are free to all participants. It's trying to tell us about refreshments and then the condition for getting refreshments. Okay, more, okay, look for refreshments. To look out for these along the route. Most are organized by, and their prizes give you real value. So they are trying to evaluate yes the condition whether there is price or not so it is also given please if you are just checking this video uh please i would like you to just um check the previous video to understand how the process this is just a refresher okay this one six if you need to get need a rest you must get off the road is evaluation evaluating condition for getting a rest okay if a motor slows you down but you have just stopped for a rest and don't need help please give a thumb hole okay so if a road marshal stops you and thinks that you need help um why you are resting okay are they measuring the same thing? No. This one is evaluating that if you need rest, this is what you must do. This one is saying if somebody mistakenly take your rest as needing help, they are not evaluating the same thing. So this is automatically not given. Okay. Okay. So let's go to the next question now before we now move on to how to pick true false not given oh sorry true and false okay first aid staff provides cycle tapes our first aid staff can supply bin liner they are measuring the same thing what their first state staff can provide or supply okay so this is given This is given. Okay, now, uh, bike events will charge you for the return of your bike. Okay, you will be charged for all costs incurred in returning your bike. That they're trying to say, evaluate charges based on return of the bike. And they are both measuring the same thing okay so it is given okay it is given so that's the question we've treated that now i want to go back now move on to true false 
this was the passage I treated uh, uh, in the first one that is deciding through uh, giving and not giving. So it is that same passage I would treat for true and false. So get the first lecture. Yes, on our YouTube site, you would see is true, false, not giving part one. This will be labeled part two. Okay, so here it is. Chronobiology is the study. Let me go into the principle first. This is the third principle that is if given, then, sorry, this is not D, this should be then decide if true or false. If all keywords of questions are replicated in the passage, it is true, all keywords. Now, focus here is content. Focus when deciding true or false is content. Remember, I said focus when deciding giving and not giving is context. Are they evaluating the same thing? Okay, so I said if all keywords of passage are replicated, of questions, sorry, are replicated in the passage, it is true. If one or more keyword in question is not replicated, there's a change. Or there's an information present in question and not in passage, it is false. Let me put this one in another color code. I like color code because they stay in your mind. So this is how we get falsehood and then truth. Okay, it's a process. The truth about it is that students that have been exposed to this and practice it do absolutely well. Okay, so now what happens? Let's go into the question. Chronobiology is the study of how living things have evolved over time. The other time, when I did the true first not given, I said the two were measuring the same thing because this one tried to define chronobiology. This one also tried to define chronobiology. But did they define it the same way? Now we will go into it. This one says, our living things has evolved, have evolved over time. This one is saying, short time reading of time and their effect on fauna and flora, that is on plants and animals. They are not defining chronobiology the same way. So you are measuring the question against the passage. So the, pass the question presents a falsehood from what was written in the passage. Yes, the, the question presents a falsehood from what was written in the passage, it contradicts. Context, the same. Content, not the same. Okay. So now the second question is also given. So we will evaluate it to decide if it is true or false. Okay. So now, uh, the rise and fall of sea level affect how uh, sea creatures behave. Okay, look at it. Marine life, that is sea creature, for example, is influenced, affected by rise and fall tidal pattern. So, Synonyms was used throughout, but they are saying the same thing. Rise and fall of sea level, that is tidal patterns, and sea creature, that is marine life. So sea level rise and fall affects our sea creature. Marine life is affected by tidal patterns. You can see that every keyword is replaced, whether directly or in synonyms. So this is true. 
So it means the question stated directly what the passage stated. Okay, but if it is not stating it directly, it has altered that information, it will be false. Okay, the third question is not given, so no need evaluating for that. Not given is a straight answer. So let's go to the next one now. This one was talking about circadian rhythm. Okay, circadian rhythm identifies how we do things on different days. We pick given because both of them we are trying to illustrate what circadian uh, circadian rhythm, rhythm is. But this one says, it identifies how we do things on different days. This one says, this is the complete cycles of how our body gear to undergo within the passage of 24 hours. This one is talking about human activities on different days. This one is talking about our activity within 24 hours. So the question is not directly replicating. There are things that have changed different days, 24 hours. How we do things differently, how our body naturally on dare to undergo. That one is replicated, but it is different days and 24 hours that are different. If you look at it, circadian rhythm, this is a complete cycle. It was defining circadian rhythm because this is a pronoun representation. Our body are naturally there to undergo how we do things, okay, within the passage of 24 hours. This one says on different days. So different days and 24 hours was the major difference. Let me highlight it so that when you are studying it, you would know. Okay, so this is false. There was some misinformation in the content, which does not, in the question, which does not match what is in the passage. Okay. Okay, let's go to the next one now. Please, under exam condition, do not write given and write falsehood. Just pick false or true. Narrow it down. This is just for the benefit of analysis. Okay. So a night person can have a healthy circadian rhythm. Okay, it's talking about if night person is able to have a healthy circadian rhythm. Night people, for example, describe how they find it hard to operate during the morning but become alert and focused in the evening. It didn't talk about whether they have early circadian rhythm here, it just talk about the difference they had with another set of people. But this is where it uh, clearly states. Let me indicate this in another color. This is a Benin variation. Benin means an armful, neutral variation. So a night person can have a healthy, so according to what is being said here, it has been replicated. Night person, healthy. This Benin variation means the person also is healthy, neutral, good. So it is true. Okay. You need to practice to get conversant with the methodology but you must first understand how to decide giving and not giving. That is the deal breaker. Giving and not giving is often the deal breaker. When you are able to decide by giving and not giving, getting true or false is a little less uh, uh, difficult. Yes, less difficult. Okay, so number six, it says new therapies can permanently change Psychiatric reading without causing harm. <coughs> new therapies. Okay, recent therapeutic development, that's new therapy for humans, such as it mentioned them, can reset, can permanently change. That's reset. 
Okay, our circadian rhythm, for example, but our bodies can tell the difference. This one says, without causing harm, and health suffers. So, health suffer is a deal breaker, so that makes it false. Health suffers. This one says, without causing harm. This one says, our body notices it. So, you can see, that's the deal breaker, without causing harm. This one says, health suffer. They are not saying the same thing in terms of context, so this is false. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay. Naturally produced vegetables have more nutritional value. Naturally produced vegetables. Okay. Plants appear no more malleable in this respect. Studies demonstrate that vegetables grown in season, that's natural, and ripen on tree natural are far higher in essential nutrients are more nutritional value that statement is captured perfectly so it is true so i have come to the end of this lecture yes and the thing there is that i can't teach you everything you need to practice what from whatever platform you joined you can send me the answer to the number that has been shown on your screen on whatsapp or you can even if you don't want your number to be exposed send it to me on instagram on facebook that is decide true or false for these ones that have been decided on giving Yes, everyone that has been decided on giving needs to further analyze for falsehood and truth. Okay, send the answers to me and I will respond. Just say answers to true, false, not giving one to eight. You can omit the one that has been decided given. So that is it. And then Please, if you want to be part of our online class, you can reach out to the number on your screen. We have online class, despite the lockdown of, of coronavirus, we are operating the online class as scheduled, and students are ramping up their preparation. The physical class will resume when the coronavirus has subsided in Nigeria here, but from any part of the world, we have students from UK, US, UAE, and they have been benefiting a lot from our training. So thank you once again. I'll be coming shortly up with another video on complex question type like matching either because it is absolutely targeted that you understand these things. Okay, but for full comprehensive class, please join us online. So thank you. I'm your host, Isaac Gorimogu from Nine Point Academy. Lagos, Nigeria.